Hermanson is a city in Umatilla County in northeastern Oregon. Throughout the state, it is best known for its famous Hermiston watermelons, as well as the beautiful scenery in the surrounding area. When driving down Highway 395, which cuts directly through town, you will first be struck by the abundance of industry. Businesses like McDonald's, Home Depot, and even a Walmart Supercenter line the road, leaving not much color to be found. The downtown area of the city is much of the same. Blank concrete and dated storefronts give the area a sleepy, small town feeling. While there are a few art shows and festivals in Hermiston, I'd say it's time for an upgrade. Public art is an incredible way to increase the sense of place in a city and add some vibrancy to an otherwise monotonous place. Many cities around the world have art landmarks that help people form a mental image of the city or even picture their lives there. For Hermiston, public art could help put it on the map. And it doesn't have to be complicated or overly expensive. In my hometown of Auburn, California, the downtown area has accumulated a colorful array of murals, mosaics, and sculptures by local artists that represent our cultural heritage and the environment around us. Public art can also exist where you least expect it. Local artists in Auburn also came together to turn plain gray to utility boxes into beautiful, creative art pieces that represent both our area and the artist's personal style. In Eugene, Oregon, local artists and students also turned fire hydrants into eye-catching public art pieces that would otherwise be purely utilitarian. According to AmericansfortheArts.org, public art has been found to provide a positive impact on communities by supporting economic growth and sustainability, attachment and cultural identity, artists as contributors, social cohesion and cultural understanding, and public health and belonging. While Hermiston has many local artists, two that I believe could bring public art to the city center include Amy Fuentes, and Brandy Dalton. Around 45.8% of Hermiston residents are Hispanic and the city is located on Umatilla tribal land, so when incorporating public art and local artists into the city planning process, it is important that these demographics are fairly represented. I think it's time to view the city's blank walls as blank canvases and make people proud to live in Hermiston.